Una persona normal y corriente. I'm a normal guy from a working class, humble family. I was born in Vigo near the Atlantic Ocean, which is something I really miss, and I'm very close to my friends. I'm also very much a family guy, perhaps because of my age. I remember the pictures when I was a kid. I remember gravel pitches, pictures of huge potholes, a real mess. I think when you look back on your childhood, you remember the time really fondly. For me, it was a time when you played football just for the fun of playing. You went out there and played with all the hope in the world that one day you could be a professional footballer. But deep down, the main thing was that you just played for the fun of it. You'd go home, wash your kit, because the next day you knew you'd be back out there playing football again with, with all your friends and just looking forward to enjoying it. I started getting contacted by some of the biggest clubs in Europe and right from the start I was very clear about what I wanted. I told my agent that all he could do was sign a deal for Real Madrid because they'd always been my team. I had the chance to go to Roma, Barcelona, Atletico, Valencia and Juventus, but I was fortunate enough to get the chance to come to Madrid, which is what I really wanted. I don't feel a huge temptation to leave Madrid because it would be tough. Sometimes you think to yourself, maybe it's the end of the road here. But I know it would be strange for me to swap a Madrid shirt for something else. And with each passing year, leaving here becomes more difficult. In the old days, you'd watch guys with a bit of a belly striking the ball really nicely. Now it's more down to the physical condition of the players. That said, Roger Federer is incredible. He's like the Zidane of tennis, because when you watch him, it's like he's a swan, he's so graceful. I used to watch Zidane control the ball and think, oh, that's incredible. And the same thing happens with Federer. He hits the ball so calmly, so smoothly. If I had to choose a favourite player, it would be John McEnroe, definitely. Smashing up the rackets. He reminds me a bit of me, all that edge, that aggression, that badness. He wanted to win come what may. He was a great character and someone you really enjoyed watching. His games were never, ever boring. When we drew 3-3 with Barcelona last year, we'd just come off the back of being knocked out of the Champions League by Bayern and it was a tough moment for us. Everyone said they were going to hammer us 4 or 5 nil, and the experienced players in the dressing room, we got together and we stood up and said to the others, come on, we're Madrid, wherever we go, we go to win, no one is going to stick five past us. We're Real Madrid. What we need to do is go out there and show them that. On my days off, I get up, take the kids to school, and when they get back from school, I like to spend time with them and my wife, go to the cinema. The truth is, once you have kids, your whole life revolves around them. It's all about them. They're on the way up, and well, we're on the way down. <laughs> The greatest thing in the world is to be able to meet up with your friends, have a few beers and have a laugh and a chat. For me, that's the meaning of life.